Welcome to another edition of The Walker's Way. I'm Brian with Walker's General Services, and today I'm gonna to show you how to secure that loose towel bar that's in your bathroom. Or, if you have a new one, how to install it. Now you thought you knew how to install a towel bar? Well, I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. And I'm gonna show you the right way, the best way, The Walker's Way. Hi, this is Brian with Walgers General Services out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We're on site today and we have to install a towel bar and I'm going to show you the best way to do it so you never have to worry about it again. This also works for toilet paper holders. I'm also going to show you a couple of the worst ways to do it, so stand by. In the package, you should have well, something that looks like these. You'll have a couple of the brackets. You'll have your towel bar a bag or two of some hardware which contains some wall anchors. There may be a couple different kinds of wall anchors. This one has two different kinds, your mounting screws and your mounting plate. Now the first thing you want to do is just get rid of those anchors. I know they're very convenient, they're easy to install, they're self-tapping and screw right into the drywall, but they'll also eventually come loose and leave a big hole in your wall. Even these little plastic ones are fine for holding something light, but they're junk for holding a towel bar. So what you're going to do to mount this, according to their instructions, is you're going to use two screws. So depending on which type of drywall anchor you use, you got a top and a bottom hole. And let me place these anchors at the distance between those holes so I can show you. So right about there. Okay, so that's where your two screws are. Now, if you notice, they're very close to each other. There's not a whole lot of space between them right there. So it doesn't leave you a whole lot of drywall, a whole lot of meat there to hold on to. So eventually you pull on that towel bar and it's going to come loose and wiggle and well it's just going to eventually break through and i don't care what kind of anchors you use there's just not enough space there to provide a stable base so what we're going to do is we're going to do it differently we're going to get rid of these and we're going to do it the wogger's way the better way what we're going to use to attach these brackets are these these are toggle bolts now they're also called other things some people call them butterfly bolts or snap bolts or wing bolts Either way, they're all the same thing. It's a bolt that has a spring-loaded toggle on the end. They come in different sizes. You can get them like a, pretty much an eighth by two inches or eighth by three inches is pretty common. I think these ones here are a quarter inch, but you only need one. That's one, not two, just one now per bracket. So now, instead of having two holes that are close to each other, you have one hole, and the way you do it is you take off your toggle here, and you're gonna take your bolt and you put it through the center hole of the uh, mounting plate, okay? So now you only have one, it's right through the center, and then you're going to take your toggle, spin it on to the end of the bolt. Now, you want to make sure you turn it on far enough because you want the end of the bolt to be sticking out of the toggle. So just kind of like, like that right there. So you just want to see a little bit out there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drill your hole in your wall, and then you're going to compress your toggle and stick it through the hole. So what we're going to do is if we pretend like this is a hole in the wall here, we'll make, make it with our hand, and you put it through, when it comes through the other side, it snaps open. And then when you tighten it down, boom, it pulls against the back of the wall and holds it very securely, okay? So that's the way you're gonna be able to hold this bracket on there strong and permanently, okay? So let's take these apart. We're gonna go over there and show you some tools, how to put everything together and how to install it. And we'll get this thing up and running. These are what you're gonna to need to install your towel bar. You need your bar, you need the end brackets, you need your wall brackets. These are the ones that mount to the wall that these are gonna to mount to. You need your two, toggle bolts, a very, very tiny flathead screwdriver because it needs to get into the set screw on your brackets. You need a level, a pencil, and a Phillips screwdriver. Or if you're a man like me, <laughs> power driver. And you also need something to drill a hole with, so you gotta drill. And because we don't like marking on the walls, we use some masking tape to put on the walls where we're gonna do the marking. All right, let's get this thing hung up. So one thing you need to know is how far apart do you need to put your brackets? Easiest way to do it is I just take my bar, stick my brackets on them, make sure they're on there, and make sure they're not like twisted in or out, just on there nice and straight. And then I just measure between the center to the center. So from center to center on this one, it is 23 and a half inches. So 23 and a half inches where your bolts are gonna go. Okay, find the spot on the wall where you want to put it. The height, really, there's no standard, just whatever feels good for you. So we're just going to put a starting mark right here. That's about 
yay high on me. I'm a little tall, so I always tend to put things tall, so you might want to put it a little lower. But now we said our measurement is 23 and a half inches. So we're going to go 23 and a half inches over from that mark. And that's about right there. We're not going to mark the wall. We're going to put a piece of tape there. So 23 and a half is right there. And now we want to make sure we're level. So the easiest way to do it is just take your towel bar, because it's going to be about that width. Put your level on there. Get your one point here. And now just level it out until it's level. Now you got them there and there. So now we're level. So now we have our mark here and our mark here where we're going to drill at. Now, if you can hit a stud, that's great, because one screw can go in the stud. That is the best and most secure way to do it. But you're not going to hit two studs, because studs are typically 16 inches on center. And if this towel bar is about 24 inches. So you might hit one stud, but you're not going to hit two. So how do you know if there's going to be a stud back there? Or do you want to move it so you do hit a stud? You can get a stud finder, and you can look for the stud, and then you can adjust it. But if you got a spot that you like where the bar is going to go, and you don't want to adjust it, if that's where you want it, then you just have to hope that maybe you hit a stud, and if you don't, no big deal, we're going to use our toggle bolts. So what I always do first is drill a pilot hole a lot smaller than the drill for the toggle bolt, because if there is a stud back there, we don't want to put a big hole in the wall. All right, so I got a 1 8 inch drill bit. So the drill bit we're going to use for these toggles is a half inch, only because I'm using the bigger toggles. If you use the 8 inch toggle, you're probably going to use a 3 8 bit. By the way, I'm going to use a 1 8 as our pilot hole. And no stud there. Now, if there's a stud, you're going to feel it right away. It's going to be very hard to go in, and a lot of sawdust is going to come out. So we'll drill here. And there's no stud there either. So we're not hitting a stud. So now we can go ahead and transfer over to our half-inch drill bit. So we're going to go half-inch here. We're going to go right where we did the pilot hole. And then half inch over here, where the other pilot hole was. Now we got our two holes. Now you can take your tape off, because you don't need that anymore. So the reason for the tape, like I said, is just so we're not making marks on the wall with our pencil, because maybe we make a mark there, we decide we want to move it, now we got to clean it off. This way you just take a piece of tape off. All right, so we're going to grab one of our wall brackets and one of our toggle bolts. Stick your toggle bolt through the bracket and put the toggle or wing on the other end. And like I said, you want to screw it on just enough so you have some of the bolt coming through. And then the thing you need to know is the orientation of this bracket. Is it vertical or is it horizontal? Not all brackets are mounted the same way. It all depends on this. Some of them, the base needs this horizontal. Some need vertical. This one is vertical. So all we do now, we have our hole, pinch your wing, put it in the hole, and push it in. This hole's a little bit small. Let's open it up a little bit. Take our wing. Now, when you get it in there, you're going to push it in. Once you get it far enough in, you're going to hear it snap open. Once it snaps open, it's not coming out, okay? So if you need to take it out, you just have to unscrew this and the wing is just going to fall inside the wall and you have to use a new wing. So there's one. So now we're going to get the other one. So here's our second one. Same thing. Take your bolt, put it through the mounting bracket, put your wing on the screw. So we got our wing on there. Just enough so it's poking through the other side. We're going to open this up just a little bit more because we found out from the first one that it needs a little bit more room. Pinch our wing, wiggle it until it goes in, and then just put your thumb on the screw head and push it using the screw. Then you hear it snap, it's in there. So now you can take a screwdriver and you can tighten this down and you can be here forever doing it. or power driver. 
Now you have to pull out on it as you do this because you need that wing to push against the back of the wall. If you don't, it's just gonna spin with the screw and it'll never tighten down. So just kind of pull it up, pull it towards you. You don't need to pull hard, just enough to that, that wing hits the back of the drywall and then screw it in. Now be careful, once you get down there, you don't wanna jam your fingers in there. So you're gonna to need to move your fingers to the side, still pull forward on it. And you wanna get it where you still have a little bit of movement in there because we're gonna adjust this. Now we're gonna do the same with our other one. Okay, so we can move this a little bit because you've got a half inch hole and that bolt is maybe an eighth of an inch wide. Well, actually these are three sixteenths of an inch wide. So there's a lot of play in there. So you could end up actually with the bar not level because this one is sitting up high and this one's sitting up low in the hole. So best thing to do is go ahead and get one solidity in there. Now you want to make sure it's straight up and down. Gonna tighten up. Don't jam down on it because it's gonna rip into that drywall. You just want it nice and snug. Now when you put your brackets on, you have the set screw. You want the set screw on the bottom. I know it's easier when it's on the top. You can see it easier, but aesthetically you want it on the bottom so you're not viewing it. So this is where you take your little mini screwdriver. So if you look inside here, you can see that in camera, the set screw comes in and what it does is it goes in behind the bracket here and the bracket's on an angle, so when the screw goes in there and starts tightening down, it pulls it in towards the wall and makes it nice and firm. So you need to get in here and loosen that screw until the tip is down, because that's gonna go over this. You need to make sure it's flat against the wall. If it's not, you probably didn't back the screw out far enough. And then once you have it, place that on there, and then tighten the screw down. Now you want to hold this on the wall as you're doing that. You're gonna, and then you're gonna feel it start to tighten up. Once it's tightened up, just go ahead and cinch it down. And then now it's nice and firm. Now what you want to do is take your other one. Let's back out the set screw. We're gonna get our level. Put your bracket on there. Put your bracket in here, slide the bracket over the, the wall mount. Now we're a little close here, so we can move it out a little bit. There we go. Now you want to make sure we're level. So now this one's fixed. So this one we can move up and down depending on where we need to be level. So right there we're level. So we're going to hold that there. We're going to take our little screwdriver, which is a pain in the butt sometimes to get it in here and to keep it in there. And we're going to tighten that down. All the while holding it against the wall. Once you got it on there, just make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. It's level. And it's on there. Nice thing about it is you got one bolt, not two. So there's less chance of the drywall getting compromised and breaking out. It's solid. If you could hit a stud, that side's going to be rock solid. But this is solid, it's not going anywhere. So you need to be careful with those other ones where you use the anchors, you know, the two anchors, you got the screw in anchors, the plastic anchors. You gotta be careful because, especially if you have little kids, you know, they're hanging on it, they're throwing stuff on it, they're hitting it. Maybe an elderly person's using it as a grab bar, getting in and out of the shower, um, and that's just gonna yank it out of the wall. Of course, if someone's hanging on this, it's gonna pull these toggles through the drywall also. It can only hold so much, but it's a lot firmer than those plastic anchors or those screw-in anchors. Those screw-in anchors really do a number on the drywall, especially when they tear through. You got two of them now tearing through. You're gonna have to move the towel bar and patch that hole, because you can't patch those holes and then put screws back in them. You just have no, no strength to it. So what you have to do is you have to take it out, you have to patch the holes where those were, texture it, prime it, paint it, and then you're gonna have to move your towel bar over so you have a fresh, solid area to mount it on. So that's how you got it. See, now you got a towel bar, you got solid. It is on there. It's not going anywhere. That's the way to do it. That's the way to put a towel bar in. That's the Wagger's way. And before you leave, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart for visiting my channel. This is a brand new channel that I'm just getting up and running. And as you can see, I only have a handful of content posted. But hopefully, 
One day I have so much content out there that you won't need to go anywhere else for your home improvement and repair needs. And one day when I have enough content, uh, maybe I can do this. Check out this other video of mine. Or click on this link to see what else I can do. Hey, hopefully it won't take too long to get to that point. But in the meantime, if you like what I'm putting out there, hit that thumbs up, like button down below, and subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way to help me create more videos to help you. These repairs are actually my business. I'm out there every day working these jobs, and when I do something that I think will benefit you to help you fix something or repair something or improve something around your house, that's when I tape it to get it out there for you. Now, if you have some ideas for other videos or you have some questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below so I can answer them. And once again, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and good luck with your projects.